girls and welcome back to my channel slightly different little setup today I'm on the other side of the bed because if you see the size of the bags that I've just had to lug down to the side of my bed so that I can do this haul hmm I'll insert a little clip to show you how big the bags were and how a bit carried away I got in home bargains so I've been back to work now for just over two weeks so I've been out of the isolation phase and we had run out of everything so I woke up crack of the dawn and I hit home bargains B&M and savers all in the space of two hours stocked up on everything and anything so I don't know which order I'll upload these but you will have another two hauls coming of those shops very very soon so without further ado let's get into the home bargains haul and you might want to get comfy because there is quite well it's not quite there is a lot of stuff so sit back relax and let's get on into the video so we had quite a long receipt everything and anything we picked up we spent a total hmm, 72.81 but looking at this nothing was over 199 so i think we got a fair few items they used to tell you how many items you had but now they haven't so hmm i think we've got quite a lot though for that money so i've managed to get one of the bags up and we're not doing this in any particular order guys it's literally just as and when i pull out so what's the first thing we have here iced lemon cake so i've started baking a lot lately but sometimes i just want some go-to little cake bites for me to eat and these were i think 69 or 89p we're gonna have to work through this fast because there's a lot to go through pretty boring 99p food container i'm starting to stock up on little bits at work so um i've got quite a lot of healthy bars little snacks i want to try and get and instead of having them all laying about in my uh, drawers at work little container can't go wrong for 99p what we've got here six jammy joeys if you've not tried these where have you been and again these were actually i've got the receipt here might help if you use it shan what have we got here they would have been through the things 89p so even better right what have we got here <gasps> right i saw this and i've recently got a recipe to make your own lemonade so i've bought the lemons i've bought everything that you need and then i saw this and this was 139 if life gives you lemons make lemonade how cute is this bottle i just thought for 139 and i love it's the old-fashioned pop-off uh cap and i thought for 139 it's gonna be so cute if i actually make if i get round to making my lemonade cutest little jar for it to go in what have we got here ah now i don't know about you but i love home bargains and b m for the cheap 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 drinks i i don't buy cans of drinks now at regular supermarkets if i'm completely honest because the prices that you get in these shops are ridiculous i think the majority of them was like 19p 35p if that so these are two bottles of tropical tango and i think these were what tango tango 39p each i mean nothing really you can say about it it's just a couple of bottles of tango but great for this weather great just to chuck in my bag for work and then off we go right i'm going to try and stick to a little bit of a theme here because i have seen quite a few of my baking bits so I have gotten into baking banana bread again. I think every mother and son has gotten into baking banana bread. But my loaf tin, I cannot get the knack of greasing it right. So you know what? Save all the hassle. I've got some loaf tins. 25 loaf tin liners, I should say, for 99p. Cannot go wrong. And then I also got, for 79p each, 100 beautiful blooming beautiful cake cases and i just thought they were so adorable so now coming up to spring and summer 
when I do my muffins, I can have them in lovely little cases. And I say 79p for 100. Can't go wrong again. As I say, oh, these, right. My mum was like, what the hell are you doing? They look like a normal fork. 99p normal fork. They was in the barbecue section. And then I read that they was extendable. So, you know like when you're at the other side, you can't be bothered to go over to the barbecue to get it. Just, oh, that's mine, thank you. Reach over with your extendable fork. Now they had these black handles, um, grey handles, red and blue. And I thought for a quid, I was getting quite carried away. I did pick up two of every colour and my mum said, no, put them back, like, you get two. So I thought, stick with classic black. But I just thought that'd be so funny, like, when someone's sitting there and then you're just like, oh, let me get uh, my extendable fork. Thank you very much. I'm so sad. I, this is when you know you're an adult, when you get excited by an extendable fork. Great. What have we got here? Oh, a little bit of homeware. I thought these were just adorable. 99p each. Little unicorn tea light holders. I mean, they're probably not the best. I just see one's got a mark on the back. That's lovely. But for 99p, just to change up my room for the spring and summer. What else have we got here? Right, a little bit of food now. Family size Dalmio. 129. They had rows of this as soon as you walked in. And we always run out of pasta sauces. So family size, what is this? 750 grams. So that's a lot. They'll probably do quite a few meals, but better to have it while you can get it. Right. What else have we got? Ah, rice thin, sour cream and onion. I normally have the salted or sweet chilli on my favourite, but if you haven't ever tried these, try them. They're gluten free, suitable for vegetarians, low in calories. Just a nice alternative to crisps sometimes. What else have we got here? Oh, so I picked up a couple of super rice beef flavoured. These were 49p. Just something to chuck in the cupboard if I come home from work one night and I can't be bothered to cook a long meal. I think you put that on the hole for like 10 minutes and you're done. And then, oh, another baking thing. What have we got here? Ah, oh, there's a cake of coconut. I searched Sainsbury's, Asda, Tesco's for these nothing there was not an ounce of any like cake decoration sultanas cherries anything like that but i managed to pick up 200 gram for 79p of desiccated coconut so i might might maybe try and make my own type of jammy joeys who knows and then again for cake baking two tins of pineapple slices because i'm gonna go and do an old-fashioned pineapple upside down cake you know like we used to get in school with the glacé cherries and the golden syrup mm. cannot wait right this i think now is just drink oh no we've got garlic garlic granules 49p again it's a staple garlic goes in everything that i cook absolutely love garlic and then i think it's a rice Yep, I just picked up a golden vegetable and an egg fried rice. Again, just like the super rices in the beef flavoured. These are two minutes. I don't even have to put these on the hob. So if I come in, get a bit of chicken or whatever I've got in the fridge and then do that quick dinner. Because I'm not going to lie, this week coming home from work, I have struggled. I've been getting in about half five and then I go for an hour's walk with my mum and then I come back and then by the time I have a bath, do dinner... I'm just like, oh, I don't want to be doing a long dinner. I don't want to be standing at the oven for ages. So quick and easy dinners, that's what I like. Ah, and to go with the cakes, glacé cherries. I think these were 79p, were they? Yep, 79p. So again, I've got all my bits and bobs for my cake baking. Right, we've got some drinks here now. So this one was actually in the fitness aisle. So it's called BCAA Amino Energy Drink, zero carb, 160 milligram caffeine, zero grams of sugar. And I'm not really an energy drink person, but it's just a tropical one. And I thought, I'll give it a go because it's a flavoured drink and it's not supposed to be bad for you. And I think this was, was this a quid? 89p. It's supposed to be 129 down to 89p, so 
give that a go. Do you go home bargains if you pick up St. Helier? Always pick these up. 50p, well, 49p a can. And I always get two orange and there should be two lemon, probably in the other bag. And again, like the tangos, great for just popping in. I want to come back and I want a little bit of an energy after a walk. Great to go. What have we got here? Ah, well, I've got one. I thought I bought two. Right, so we have one, just that pink gin and tonic cans. Oh, there we go. These, 99p. I thought I bought another one. Again, it's probably in the other bag. But I wanted to try, or let me know in the comments if you have tried, the Gordon Sicilian Lemon and um, the Gordon's Peach Flavour Gin. As they had it for £13, I tried all online to get it. When Mum popped there, never had it. It's gone up to £16.50 now, and guess what? They've got plenty of it. But the one that's on £13 now is Eldflower. I've never tried it because I just... I don't think I'd like it, but I've heard quite a lot of good reviews. So if you're an Eldflower gin lover, let me know down below how it is and if I would like it and what to pair it with, because I may try it. I've, I'm running out of my gins, to be honest. So I've got one bottle left, which was actually from Home Bargains. The uh, Mystical Unicorn one is the Candy Floss and Marshmallow flavoured. And when you shake it, it goes all iridescent. Love it. More drinks. So I picked up, what have we got here? Oh, four Boost Energy, and these, I think they're only about 29p a can. They do a cola flavoured one as well, but I wasn't really keen on the cola flavoured, so I picked up the exotic. And then what have I got here? I thought I picked up two of these, again, probably in the other bag. These were in the health and fitness aisle as well. Sun Soul Energy Drink, natural passion fruit flavour with cola nut, grana and baobab 79 calories and i thought that looked quite nice give it a go and see what it's like i think you can't go wrong with stocking up on like little drinks like this because it saves opening a big bottle and then you've got to drink it because it's going to go flat just get the little ones right these i've never seen before it must be a new thing so i picked up two of each to try they're called fruish fruit bottled juice and I've got two of orange mandarin flavour and two of pineapple and passion fruit. And when I asked the lady in the store, she said they're just basically like a freshly squeezed juice. But I just think the whole, I mean, just like the look of them, they're so cute. You peel off the top and they're all biodegradable. So they're all recyclable. So I thought I could have a fruit juice in the morning because on Sunday this weekend, I'm actually going to try and do... And make a home afternoon tea because I was actually supposed to be going to Ickleworth Manor Hotel or Ickworth Manor Hotel um, in Cambridgeshire for a Beatrix Potter afternoon tea that I'd booked for my mum and me at uh, on Mother's Day. So obviously with everything that's gone on, we now can't go. So I still want to have that afternoon tea thing. So I might do some baking on the Sunday, get the fruit juice, get a little bit of pink gin and make our own little one you know right I, i'm not even gonna be able to lift this bag i'm just looking at it and no i'm not gonna be able to lift this so we'll move on i've got four boxes of fuller soft tissues i love to have a box of tissues by my bed and because i've got two bedside tables one either side i'm a bit ocd i have to have them to match so i picked up four of them again they're handy to keep in i think that was 89p each so i'm not pushing the boat out right ah we have Hansel and the other pink gin and tonic so that's great we have that what do we have here <gasps> right so i've started to buy stuff for when i move out and i sometimes forget that i'm 24 years old i see stuff and i get so carried away and i'm like <gasps> and then my mom's like mm, that's probably not for your age range so i saw this you might think it's a swan it's a doorstop how cute is this this was 2.99 and i have a thing for doorstops the one i've got at the moment is called primrose she's a pig that we got from b and q i think she was something like five pound and i just love it i think i'm not one of these to have a normal doorstop i think like she brightens up my room as weird as it sounds like when i walk in and my door shut i see her and i'm like oh hey primrose so i need to find a name for this one 
because I will keep her until I move out. And this will probably be my doorstop going into the spare room that I want to do into my walk-in wardrobe. So think of any names for the swan, but I just think for 2 99 you can't go wrong. The detail on it. And it's actually quite weighty. It's a decent doorstop. It's not one of them ones that you lift up and you think, oh, the wind could blow that over. It's a good doorstop. Right, what have we got in here? <gasps> Again, guys, if you go to Home Bargains and don't pick up this drink, let me just double check because I think this is the cheapest drink of all. Yeah. Right, so, 19p. 19p. I get four at a time. It's supposed to be 65p. And they're only 26 calories. They are Sunny D, but a sparkling version. And oh, for 19p, like, I wish I had another fridge just to stock up for cans of drinks. Or get a mini fridge for my room. <gasps> Should I? Again, St. Helier's. This is the lemon flavour. Again, 49p. I bought a lot of drinks. And only two of them were alcohol. Well done, Shan. These were the cutest thing again. 29p. Little iron brew bottles. They're adorable and they're sugar free. I'm not normally one for iron brew, but sometimes, you know, when you have that craving and you're like, oh, really fancy that drink. Likewise, I actually picked up a bottle and a can. One full fat Dr. Pepper and one Dr. Pepper Zero. This bottle reminds me of how they display it in America. I've never been to America, it's just what I've seen on the TV, but I thought get one of each and then I can take the bottle to work and have the can indoors. Because I sometimes quite like Dr. Pepper when I have some rum. So I might, I've got a little bit of rum left actually from Mexico, so that might be my thing because I can't have my gin at the moment. Oh, picked up some snacks. Picked up some sensations, roast chicken and thyme, and six packs of tickets. Can't go wrong, just for a little snack. Right, what have we got? I'm going to start leaning down there. Right, I saw this. This was 139 for 500ml. Fine garlic flavoured oil. But, can you see all the garlic that is in the oil? I love garlic. It goes in everything I cook. Uh, the garlic salt, as you saw, that goes on everything I cook. I have fresh garlic in the fridge, goes on everything. I have the crushed garlic, like lazy garlic, goes in everything. Now I found a garlic flavoured oil. They did have a chilli flavoured oil and a chilli and garlic mixed oil, but I'm not, I can't deal with spice, so just stuck with the garlic oil. And 139, hopefully, that's nice. Um, I'll probably do some recipes with that on my food instagram so i'll leave in the comments box below my lifestyle and my food instagram if you want to go and check those out that would be great again for cooking what have we got here just some squirty top cream i think this was 79p so inexpensive guys honestly that's why i love going to home bargains b and and savers because everything is so cheap everything i got at savers i spent i think it's like 27 pounds I've got 33 items and not one single item I had was over a pound. So you go there, but you do get carried away. Yeah. Oh, this was as soon as you walked in. Vanilla flavoured unicorn popcorn. And I'm not going to lie. I got it just because it looked like a unicorn and it's pink. 99p. Yes, I'm 24 years old and clearly I still have the mindset of a five-year-old. And that is just everything falling off my bed. If you could see the state of my bed right now. And then I've got to put it all in the bags and take it through to the kitchen. That's great. Let's have a look. What do we got here? Carex Moisture Derma Care Anti Back Hand Wash, 89p. This is the moisturising one. They had the classic blue antibacterial one, but I don't know about anyone else. The amount of hand sanitizer I've been using lately, my hands are getting so dry. So anything that's nourishing, I've been slathering them in moisturiser, hand creams, you name it. I've tried it. I have picked up a hand pack. You know, like you get foot packs, but I found a hand pack. I'm going to try and maybe do that at the weekend and see how we get on with that. Oh, can I? Oh, an initial water bottle. This was £2. Just a nice rose gold one. And again, I've been trying to... It's a little flap-up one. 
I'm trying to get into drinking more water and I always find if my water bottle looks nice I'm more inclined to drink from it and then once I drink it and I fill it up I'm like oh, one bottle down another two or four to go but yeah that's not bad for two quid can't go wrong right these right now where's the receipt I think these were what are they even called one ninety nine. So I just picked up some makeup remover cloths because I religiously get a pack of these every time I go Primark. But because we can't go Primark, I thought I'd try home bargains and not bad colours. Hopefully they all do the same job. All trying to save the environment. Right, what else have we got? I think these were about one forty nine. I've been getting so much headache since being back at work. I don't know if it's because the amount of workload that's on at the moment or the stress but i'm getting headaches every single night so i don't really like taking paracetamols or tablets so i love to use these strips because they're just easy they oh another baking tray this is a six cup muffin tray 1.99 so we had a muffin tray but it wasn't as deep and to do my cupcakes and also i've started a new thing called breakfast muffins so you put whatever you want in them and then crack some eggs, whisk them up, fill them to the line, pop them in the oven, 12 minutes, come out, and they're almost like little omelettes. So nice. So again, that's to go with my baking. We've got pretty standard Colgate whitening toothpaste, 99p, can't go wrong with that. Oh, we've got, we've got two more bags of rice, guys. Two bags of basmati, two minute rices, again, 49p each handy because if i do curries i do batch curries so then i can come in just heat up the meat two minutes for the rice bish bash bosh done what's this i've got here take out lunch bowl this was a pound again just very simple and basic but for work if i want to take a soup or i do a stir fry or a bit of curry pop it in there oh two bars of pure and sensitive soap i think these were a pound again just basic bits that you need oh we've got another garlic as, as i say i can't you can't go wrong with garlic i cook with it in everything and i just love garlic <gasps> i'm looking forward to these guys have you seen everyone at the moment with the toasty bags in the toasters so these are actually reusable as well two bags each bag can be used up to 50 times and they're just two toast bags these were 79p and apparently you just do like your normal sandwich, pop it in the bag, put it in your toaster for however long. Oh, toasty sandwiches in three minutes. And then take it out and you've got a toasty. So I might actually try this because I love doing a bacon and cheese toasty. But it's a bit of a palaver, cooking the bacon, then melting the cheese under the grill. Da -da -da -da. Cook the bacon, put it in with the cheese, toast it three minutes and we're done. Right, this is mum's bit. What's she got here? max five flush toilet rim block cleaner in ocean spray so clearly we'd run out of some necessities for the toilet and i think these were where are you <gasps> a pound and that is everything is pretty much going to fall off my bed so thank god we are nearly at the bottom of this bag what have we got here oh she also picked up the original carex for 89p so she's got the moisturizing and the normal one was quite good so i love nando's i'm missing nando's terribly but that sauce is that sauce is like two quid a bottle this was like 69 or 89p what was you where are you 89p robert shaw's lemon and herb peri peri sauce and it's quite a big bottle, 250 grams. So I'm going to have, we've got some chicken breasts on the butchers today. So I might do an at-home Nando's one night. Oh, I've got rice. I haven't got halloumi. I might have to quickly pop out because you can't have Nando's without halloumi. And then I got four bottles of Glacier Smart Water Sparkling. I love sparkling water. And these were 19p per bottle. So you can't go wrong so guys and girls that is the end of the haul if you could see the state of my room now 
I can't be bothered. I've got to repackage all this up and take it all through to the kitchen now, <laughs> most of it. So I'm not looking forward to that. But if you did like this video, remember there will be another two. We will have a B&M and a Savers haul. Again, I'm not too sure of what order I'm going to be putting those up. So keep your eyes peeled because one may be up before this, one may after. Who knows? But if not, I hope you did enjoy this video. Smash that thumbs up. Give us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.